And we are cooking with you this morning. We have another great viewer with us. Mike Cohn is here with me from Sturgeon Bay. Is that right? right? Um, and he's going to be making some yummy German dishes. What do we got going on right now? Well, this now? is a red cabbage, rotkohl. It's a German name for it. And uh, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to make. You just start by taking some bacon, dicing that up, uh, frying it, add a medium onion, and then in a, another pot about this size, you shred a small head of cabbage. Add some brown sugar, some uh, like about two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, about a half a cup of vinegar, about a half a cup of wine, a little salt and pepper, and then you dice up an apple and put it in there too. Okay. And when the bacon and the onion are done, you put them in with the cabbage, you cover it, you simmer it for about 45 minutes, the whole works. And then um, when everything's nice and soft and looks about like it does now, you add about uh, uh, a teaspoon of flour maybe, or a t tablespoon of flour, maybe two, okay. just to stir it in and make it thick, so it, it kind of makes its own gravy. Yeah, and we have all the recipes online, too. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little mini facial over here, Mike. <laughs> what do we got going on? Well, this is spetzel, uh, which is a German noodle. It's very easy to make. Um, you can buy the bag of dried spetzel like you could spaghetti or anything else, okay. but it's a little better if you make it yourself. And basically, this batter is just uh, three eggs, a cup of flour, a little bit of salt, and maybe a quarter cup of water. Okay. And you just mix it up with a, with a fork. And then this is a spetzel maker. Oh, cool. Um, you don't have to have one. You can use a slotted spoon if you want, or even a regular spoon and just drizzle it in okay. to the boiling water. But this makes it so much easier. And you just basically load that hopper up with, uh, with the spetzel. How about you? Oh, I'll okay. watch, okay? You watch? And you're the expert, so I'll watch you okay. do it. So I'm just going to load this hopper up with the, with the batter. How cool. Made. And it just kind of drips. The thing looks kind of like a cheese grater with a bin on top of it. Yeah. And they're not expensive, maybe about 4 or $5. Okay. Um, maybe maybe 8 or 9 if in some places. And then you just kind of move this slowly back and forth. Do you have any oil on there at all? I put a little cooking spray on it so it wouldn't stick, Okay. which really helps. Otherwise, it kind of turns into a big gloppy mess. Wow. This so is really cool. So you just kind of move this back and forth like so. And oops, I'm going to turn this heat up just a little bit. It's a okay. little low. And when it's done, the spetzel starts to float. That is so really cool. That's all you have to do with that. And um, how long does that take to cook? Usually, uh, it depends if the, wa the water's good and hot. Uh, maybe a minute or two okay. at the most. And then it floats to the top. And then all you have to do is scoop it out. And I'm gonna. This is kind of a messy thing. I probably should have something. Oh, to that's okay. Here, let's set it. Put under should that. I set it right over here? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Ah, look at that. Uh, Great transfer. Great. So this is, you can see it's almost done. There's a little bit in the middle that isn't. So I'm just going to kind of turn that a little bit. How fun would this be for your family to spend time in the kitchen doing something oh, like yeah. this? Oh, yeah, especially kids can make this. I mean, other than you know, supervision with the boiling water, but it's a real, it's like making pancakes. It's, it's about the same kind of recipe. Let's talk about family because your wife, Kathy, and you uh, were just in London this past spring. We have a yeah. picture of her and you in a telephone booth, I think it was. Yes, Where in Queen's you? Park. Yeah, we were in Queen's Park uh, in a telephone booth. So How fun. Do you travel all over? Or tell uh, me about that. Well, not as much as we'd like to, yeah. but uh, we we, we were fortunate enough to spend a week in London. We had a great time. How exciting. Is this ready to go, Mike, or Pretty we much. still need a little bit more time? I think we're about ready, so I can take a little spritzel great. and drain it off here like this. And uh, a little bit of uh, the red cabbage. And these are great side dishes that go good with just about any German meal. Wow. Um, as we mentioned, I'll be making schnitzel in the next hour. Yes, so, we don't want to miss that. That's going to be in the 8 o'clock hour. And we also want to talk to, he has a blog that you um, have. Yeah. Food blog, is it anything special? Yeah, um, a cooking blog, just kind of a hobby thing. I, whenever I come up with a new recipe that I really like or come across something, I usually put pictures and write the recipe and put it on there. Awesome, and we'll tell you more about that in the 8 o'clock hour. And we'll also make, what did you say we're making? Schnitzel. Schnitzel. We're making that too. So don't go anywhere. That's going to be the 8 o'clock hour. Good day, Wisconsin. I'll be right back. Mike, thank you so much.